Hello everybody, this is uh, Mecha120 here. Um, I have a video request for from somebody um, who saw my boot animation for my old phone, the Samsung Admire, for the uh, for Metro PCS. Now, um, he requested that I show a slight tutorial on how to do it. Uh, right now, I actually currently own the LG Motion 4G because I personally believe that's the uh, best phone that Metro PCS has on the market. You know, outside of the Galaxy S3, but you know, I can't, I can't afford five hundred dollars. Okay, so I have my uh, phone out. So if I just scroll down, now I have there are um, there are three things that you need for your phone. First off, first off, your phone needs to be rooted. It needs to gain root access, and then you need two programs. You need one that will basically manage all the programs that need root access. For the for my phone, I have the program is called Super SU, it's right there. And then I had then you need a uh, file explorer with root access. I I use a uh, root explorer. I believe you pay for that as like probably a dollar ninety nine. So basically once you have the phone rooted, um, if you need a request I'll do that too. With this phone specifically, every phone is a little different. So I can't really show one from my admirer because I got rid of that a while ago. Okay, so this phone's already rooted. I have Super SU installed and Root Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Root Explorer. And uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to System. Right here, System. And then uh, Media. You're going to find the file that says Media. Click that. And then you're going to find a file, it says right here, bootanimation.zip. That's going to be the file that contains all the frames and the timings for the boot animation. Okay, this is, I already have one uh, custom, cu I already have a custom animation installed. So let me go ahead and, and uh, restart my phone so I can showcase it. Now, for anyone else that um, owns the LG Motion 4G, you know, you know the typical boot up screen, it just shows the little uh, video of Metro PCS. Uh, this is the one I have installed instead of that because I really don't like it. Just as soon as my phone restarts. Yeah, that's that's currently my custom boot animation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wait a minute, wait for everything to initialize, wait for the phone to scan my memory card and have my Wi-Fi booted up and everything, okay? So we're just going to wait for that. Let my camera refocus. Okay, apparently I have mail. Okay, so we'll just assume that everything's working, everything's rebooted up and all that, okay? Let me just, there we go. Okay, so, you guys saw my original boot animation. I'm going to go ahead and change that. Now, what I did was, uh, basically what you do with this phone, you have to find the uh, boot animation that has the right resolution. So, in this case, with this phone, it is 320 by 480 Okay, 320 by 480, that's the resolution, all right? Otherwise, you know, you're not going to see anything or it's going to look, you know, out of, it's going to look really weird. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up Root Explorer. And now I have um, the other boot animation, which is actually the one I showed in my original video, the one when I had my Admire, the uh, BIOS screen. So I have that in my, I already have that saved on my SD card, you know, just in case if I ever get bored with this one, I decide to change it. So, so we're, we're, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and, uh, Go to mounts, MNT mounts. This will this is basically the location of all the uh, primary storages. So you have your SD card, right? And we're just going to scroll down. Now SD card means that it is the built-in internal five gigabyte SD card. Now we're going to have to look for external SD. You see right here it says external underscore SD. That now that will take you to the um, the external SD card that you built that you install in here. Right now, I currently have a 32 gigabyte um, SD card installed, and uh, we're going to go to my specific folder. It's called Boot Animations. We're going to click that. Okay, this one right here. Now you notice it has to be a .zip file. 
and the name has to be bootanimation.zip. I have this one called .back. Um, basically, that's the original boot animation that came with the phone. It's the Metro PCS one, you know, just in case something ever happens and I need to restore it. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold it, and then I'm going to... Uh, where can I see? Okay, move. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Keep going back until you reach your primary directive, which is right here, which means you can't go back any further. Okay, so keep keep scrolling down until you see system, media. Okay, and now click paste. Okay, so I forgot to do one thing, right here. Make sure you mount the system directory as read and write, which will allow you to write files and information directly into the uh, primary directive. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and paste from the SD card into this directory. Okay, now we need, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to move this into my SD card. So we're going to go and hold that, click move, go back, go back. Okay, scroll up to SD card, and then go to external SD right here. And boot animations, paste. Okay, so this is this is the one that I showed you before. This is the one I have. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Now we have to do one more thing before we're done. Go back to systems, media. Okay, we have the file in here right now. But the uh, the remember what I said. The name has to be bootanimation.zip, and I just have bootanimation one bios.zip just to name it. Okay, now we're gonna rename it. Just basically just get rid of BIOS 1. So it'll be boot animation.zip. Okay? And remember to always mount as read only when you're done. You know, just in case anything ever messes up. So we're gonna go ahead and go back, go back, and we're done. Okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and showcase the new boot animation that I just installed. Phone is shutting down. Phone just uh, phone just vibrated. It's booting back up. And now we have our new boot animation. And there you go. There's the tutorial on how to change your boot animation. Alright, this is Mechamon20. Thank you.